Looking for a hidden treasure can be hard to find. We are on the western side of the building, which is the Olive Street entrance. But once you find it, it can teach us history. This is bark cloth. This is actually made from the bark of a tree. Joaquin Mashani is the collections manager at the Denver Center for African Art. We have a variety of art here from predominantly the west coast of Africa. And says the Cultural Education Center displays the works of African artists to help more people understand their meaning. Most of these things were made for specific ceremonial reasons. A lot of these things come from people's altars, from their family shrines. Most of these objects are extremely sacred to these people. So now I have over 1,200 pieces. The center was inspired by art collector Dr. Paul Hamilton and was started in 2021. Hamilton donated some of the artwork from his collection of more than 1,200 pieces to preserve history. I saw a whole new way of looking at African art African people, African culture, and who I am. And we believe it should be preserved uh, for uh, the community uh, and exhibited for the community. Ron Williams is the CEO for the nonprofit art center that houses one of Denver's largest African art collections. He says the pieces reflect the African culture and the people. A part of our history that has been um, disregarded, if you will, uh, certain, uh, certainly underappreciated and we see that as an opportunity for us to present it in the light that it truly commands and to the extent that we've done it so far we notice the effect that it has on people. And this is a door panel that was in Nigeria that was carved for the king. The center is displaying around 70 pieces of art from various collectors around the country, each with its own meaning. It was made for a purpose. It was made for utility reasons, such as everyday household items. It was made for spiritual reasons in terms of ceremonies. So African art was made to be used. What we're looking at here is a headdress of the bag of people of Guinea Mashani says it's an art form that's even been an inspiration to other artists. When you look at the distinction of this nose, this nose was used by Pablo Picasso. Both Mashani and Williams hope the center will teach a history. Everything that inspired dignity uh, of the enslaved was suppressed. About a culture and the artwork that's been a mystery for so long. So bringing history to life, but also showing it in a light that is more than just how it's been projected over the centuries. In Denver, this is all about the next generation. Byron Reed, 9 News.